Yeah. So this guy thinks he's such a smartass. He thinks he knows everything about the West. He thinks he knows everything and he thinks that he's coming to the West to dominate. Which in some way is truthful because the West is killing itself from within. But not for the reasons that this gay moron mentions, right? Because, of course, we all know that those who target gays are usually gay themselves. So let us see what this jihadi demonic entity has to say. Do you know what the advantage of LGBT is? What did you say? Yeah, it's so funny. No, 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 we have no, no, it's <laughs> for a lot. What are you still talking about? No, I'll tell you, there's advantages of that. <laughs> it's so funny. No, it's not what you're thinking. Whatever you're thinking, hopefully you're not thinking anything. But oh, because, you know, his thoughts are full of wieners and all that, right? And all the gay stuff because he's speaking out against it. That's one of his main things is against LGBTQ because what you think about and what you sit on and what you hate most is usually what you have in yourself. So this guy hates gays. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a gay lover, right? But that's besides the point. God forbid. Oh, oh, what would happen to him in the Muslim world if they found out? Oh, no. But there are advantages, which is it's a parasite to the Western civilization. Is he calling himself a parasite? Be careful what you wish for. This would be fantastic for them. Let's be honest. So they're destroying them. He's in England, right? He's in Britain. He has freedom of speech. He is brazen. And they let him, right? And that's why Britain is going down, because they let these parasites, such as the jihadis, that want to take down the West and make it Islamic. And we all know what Islamic countries look like, right? Like Sudan, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, all the stands. What do their countries look like? Yemen. They're all like starving. They're all sick. They're all living in third world hell. Living hell holes. No clean water. They're literally on the brink of starvation. They don't know how to build. They don't know how to create. All they know how to do is seed sows. Sow seeds of chaos and destruction. Because Islam is demonic themselves which means when the western civilization destroys itself from within it's less likely to destroy us from without listen you've destroyed yourself okay if the west is destroying itself by s some means or another by self-inflicted chaos by allowing vermin like this piece of garbage jihadi freak who wants to kill little girls at a taylor swift concert right that is you know that is on the west right but the we don't need to do anything to destroy Islamic countries because they destroy themselves. They're at war with each other for the past fifteen hundred years. So the Sunnis, the Shiites, the uh, the Taliban, all these like different foreign factions of terrorists that kill each other, right? Like they they're not a civilized society. Islam is does not breed civilization, right? So he can make fun of the West all he wants, but their countries are filled with chaos. Because if you have so many people from the LGBT and trans community coming into Iraq and Afghanistan Oh, they're such a threat. Whoa, they're such a threat. As if the Afghanistanis don't have Bakabazi boys who are kids with penises and it's not as if they go and dress those little boys up in girls dresses like trans people, right? But it's even worse because they take little kids and they abuse them, right? They're pedof pedophiles, right? But, oh, that's not gay at all, right? Like, having sex with little boys, men on men, men having sex with children. That's not gay, but it's, to them, it's not gay, but it's even, like, worse because they're not only having homosexual activity, but they're doing it with children, which is sick, right? And they need to, I'm not going to say what needs to happen to those pedophiles. Right, so he's making fun of like grown gay people who have consensual um, relationships, right? And he thinks he's so clever and so funny. And oh, they're destroying America from within. They're destroying the West, England, all these other places, right? He's so smug, you know. But if England had any self-respect, they'd take him and put him in Iraq, right? So he can join the Taliban or live there because. It seems he has so much in the West and he's trying to take it down. I, I think the Taliban will look at each other and say, we don't know what to do with these guys, you know? Do we admit them? That's so funny. We don't know what to do with these gay guys. Yeah, hang them from a tree, throw them off buildings. But the children, the boys, let's go fuck them.
right? That's not gay at all. To the hospital? <laughs> it's so funny, Muhammad Hijab. What do we do with them? And this is what Ibn Khaldun referred to as decline of communities or civilizations and societies. Do you know what the advantage? Right, so the only way he's right about one thing, that the West is letting themselves be taken down from within, not because of the gays, not because of the trans. Every, do you know what? Not because Imagine of, if you... Not because of the gays, not because of the trans. It's all because of one thing, letting immigrants, illegal, like him, even though he might have been born there, and he is legal there, they need to take people like him, jihadis, throw them out of their civilization so that... Because this is the vermin, this is the poison that you let into your countries. They don't respect your society, they don't respect your culture, they don't respect your women. They are Islamic supremacists. They don't believe that everybody is created equal. They believe in jihad, right? And so you let them in, that is what is causing the decay in your societies. And that is what's causing it to crumble from within. He is the enemy from within. You need to get him out. The gays and the trans, they're not a threat. This freak, this creep, this evil bastard, this gay dude who is pretending to be straight, he is a threat and he is dangerous. And just keep the jihadis out. Do yourself a favor, right? Just do yourself a favor.